Welcome back to Drive World. Today I wanted to show you the best cars for any of the restrictions. Also, thanks to Turbo Stuntman for helping me with this video. Make sure to go subscribe to him. He makes amazing tier list videos. First off, we have the 400 range, which the most reliable cars for this are the Interceptor, the Wagon, and the Rally RS. The very first car we have here is the Interceptor. This car is really cheap for the performance it has in the 400 range. Not only does it have a high top speed, it's also good at turning. And these are the upgrades that I use for the Interceptor. And I haven't changed the gear tuning yet for it. The next 400 car we have is the wagon. Although this car is more expensive, it's almost identical to the Interceptor in times on any of the races really. This is also probably the most common car you'll see in the 400 range. And here is what I put on the wagon. I also haven't changed the gearbox on this one from the stock one. Next up we have the Rally RS. This car is the best for cornering out of all of the 400 range. This car is also really good at taking jumps. Next up on the list we have the 600 range. The main two cars you want to use in the 600 range are the Odin and the Camo. The Camo's price to performance is amazing. There's not many cars in this range that are able to beat it. And here is the mods that I put onto the camo. And these mods I found to be the best priced performance out of all of the different tunes that people have put on it. Also, uh, going off to off-road tracks, you'll want to use off-road tires instead of the normal tires. And this car, I actually did change the gear tuning, but kept the gears stock. And here we are with the Odin. What the Camo can't do, the Odin can do. So the Camo's better at turning and the Odin's better at doing straights. So you can choose which car you like more depending on which style of racing you like to do. Here are the customizations for the Odin. This car I've also tuned a little bit, but as long as you get the last gear to around where the top speed that you find it as, that's good enough for the car. Moving on to the 800 range, we have the Camo RS. Now this is basically the only car you'll need in the 800 range, but also the Exotica is extremely similar to this and the Exotica usually will beat it in dirt tracks. 
but for the price of it against the Exotica, this is better than it. And here are the customizations for the Camo RS. I have also tuned this one and if you see on the last gear on gear 6 it gets to 240 miles per hour which is the highest I could get in testing. And for the final restriction we have the Comet RS and the Aero 1. The Aero 1 is one of the best feeling cars in the game but the only part that holds it back is the price. The Aero 1 is really basic because all you need is a sport crank. Now for the more affordable side, the Comet RS is actually faster in the straights and it can perform almost the exact same as the Aero 1. And these are the modifications that I put on the Comet RS. And I won't show you this one because it's obvious, but the Yesco is the best any restriction car. Just to remind you, even though you have some of these cars, you won't be able to win races because you need the skill to pay the bills. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, it might be the next update, I'm not sure. And thanks to me for helping Gav make this. Go sub to him right now.